So we can welcome YouTube over as well to an hour of 60 seconds re atomized, a kind of repackaged release of 60 seconds. The gist of this is you play through like a, a kind of semi poorly made Unity 3D landscape where you have 60 seconds to grab as many supplies and family members as you choose. And then the rest of the game is very similar to, if you remember, Zafe House Diaries. It's basically that. Zafe House Diaries 2 kind of sucked, but I had a, a relatively long series on Zafe House 1 where we put like um, Daryl off The Walking Dead and Naruto. We made them like zombie apocalypse survivors. So I played the tutorial off camera just to get the gist of it, but we're just going to jump into a fresh game. The apocalypse scenario, which is the scavenge section where you get 60 seconds, and then the survival section, which is the Zafe House Diary section mixed into one. This isn't what I played. So, as far as I'm aware, like, where everything in the house is, is randomised. Oh, we can play as Dolores or Ted. Select difficulty, Fat Man. Uh, sure, we'll stick on normal difficulty and we'll play as Ted and begin. I think we get a few seconds to case the joint, but then we have to, like, nab as much as possible. You can let me know about the volume once I'm in this shelter, because once I start grabbing stuff, I can't pause. So don't judge it by how it looks here. This is, it, I think it's a little janky on purpose, honestly. And that sound is our daughter playing the tuba, I guess. Oh, just like that. Take the gas mask, take the food, take some water. Uh, the first aid kit, is that? Nope, don't have room for that. Take this. Then we have to run over here, dump the stuff in. There is our son. He takes up two spaces. Chessboard. I don't know what that's for, honestly. Come here, wife. Uh, I don't have enough room for that. We're already over half our time through. Where's... Oh, there she is. Come here. You're lucky I went back for you, lady. There's so much stuff you need and you don't really have time to grab it all. Uh, anything else, anything else. Grab the board game and run. And the map. Run. I made it just in time. Sousaphone? I don't know what that is. So now we're into like the game proper. That's just the mess about thing at the start. I got an achievement called Family Guy, I guess for rescuing everybody. It looks like the the volume seems fine to me. So we rescued everybody. You click on the book, you see what happens. I'm not going to read all of it, but it looks like we've got a free padlock inside our shelter. And then you basically just have to ration your food. You send people out, you get events, you respond to events. They have good results, bad results. You try and survive and maybe thrive. I'm not sure. And all you can eat is soup. Why tomato soup? I don't know. So on the first day, nobody needs anything, so we're just going to skip that. I always thought life could be much better, that was before we got nuked. Now we think life could be much better, in a way not much has changed. That's day one. No, oh, I hear a Geiger counter. Fun memories are one thing, but we still need to be ready for a harsh reality. There isn't much to do. We're all doing quite well. Fair enough. So I think you can go like four days without food and water. So then we're going to try and ration what we have as best we can. Ah, do we want to send somebody out? It's highly radioactive, but we have a gas mask. So actually, um, chat, who shall I send out? Who's the least useful based on your prejudices? And then I shall go by what you say. Send the boy. And then the Cubian said the boy as well. Alright. What's his name? Timmy? Timmy, oh, he gets to eat there because it ups his strength for when he goes on a uh, adventure. So, Wasteland is no match for Mary Jane. Timmy is in good health and full of optimism. We will prepare an expedition, but it gets scheduled for the day after, so that's why he's eating today. We're not big fans of our strange smelling shelter, but when we started to smell something burning, we quickly realised how much we prefer the nothing is on fire scent it had before. 
A fire we need to put out and save our supplies. We don't have time. What do we save? Oh no. I don't know why I can't save these. I guess we'll save the scout handbook, which I don't remember grabbing. It's safe to say that's probably not the best start you could ever hope for. Yeah, and there's fire damage all over the place. That was close. We were able to put out the fire. Nothing seems to be damaged, at least not very badly. Are there even any firemen left? So now they're starting to get a little bit thirsty. So I guess everybody can drink today. They could probably, actually, they could probably last one more day. What's this, day three? They'd be dehydrated after this, though. We have enough that we'll drink for now, just to test it out. So Timmy is going out, and he's going to take the gas mask and just the gas mask, because it's highly irradiated out there. Good luck, Timmy. Jimmy, whatever your name is. I mean, one less kid. That's less rations. I mean, I'm sure she'll be fine. He'll, he'll be fine. Timmy went out into the wasteland. We don't know what to do if he doesn't come back. They're no longer thirsty and they shouldn't be hungry for one more day. Yeah, so we'll just we'll hold on to the food. We had the, cu the most curious of visitors today. One of them was making the sound of a galloping horse using a pair of rocks. Oh, it's a Monty Python. They claimed to be on a very important quest to seek some magical cup. Only they lost their way in the wasteland. They asked permission to have a quick look at our map. Sure. They got an achievement, Prepper. Oh, the Doomsday Prepper for surviving five days. So they gave us an axe. Also, is that a penis? Oh, it's a two-headed cow. It's a Fallout reference. It's a Brahmin. They were clearly crazy but harmless, so we fulfilled their request. Nothing going on. Nothing new. Isn't worried. Everything is okay. Still not hungry. I guess you can go more days without food than you can water, so I guess that's, that's useful information. That trash can of ours is getting disgusting. The good news is we don't have much of an appetite when we see it, so we're saving some food. Yet for some reason we would like to tidy this mess up. Those giant green cockroaches are a pretty good motivator. I don't have bug spray, so attack them with the scout handbook? I guess you're going to, like, crush them or something. Hello, BD. Uh, my finger is sore today, but the doctor did say that would happen. So hopefully tomorrow will be better. I also persistently did not take any painkillers, which I probably should have, but I don't like taking medicine unless I really, really have to. Uh, where's water when Ted needs it? Mary Jane is very thirsty and has to drink. Dolores has to drink sometime. I'm going to give them one more day, because then hopefully he'll come back and then they can just all drink. They're not going to die, because they're only thirsty. It's been a while. We don't know much about what's happening on the surface. If only we had a chance. Oh, we don't have a radio, so... It makes a brrr, brrr noise if you don't have the thing. I'm starting to think the sun might not be coming back. They say ignorance is bliss. Another day without any clue of what's going on might not necessarily kill us. Okay, now they're, yeah, okay, they're dehydrated. Yeah, and hungry. You all get to eat. The other day we heard a quiet knock on our door, but when we opened it we only found a suitcase and a doorstep, and there was no sound around. It isn't signed, but it sure looks like it was meant for us, should we check what's inside? Chat, I get to blame you if this goes wrong, so that's why I'm asking you. Should I open the... briefcase? That appears to be left for us. Yes, yes, do it pussy, check it, do it, okay fine. I don't know why I bother asking. <laughs> yes, we will look inside the daily. I hear snoring? Um, what's wrong with daughter? She looks like Melissa McCarthy. It was an innocent looking bottle of water, so we took a sip. We thought we got lucky, but it was a little lie. Either that water was irradiated, or it was some kind of biological weapon It made us feel pretty sick. Well, shit. Mary Jane has contracted an illness. Oh, we have a first... No, we don't have a first aid spray. Uh, I think, like, keeping her f fed 
improves the chance of getting over it. I don't quite remember from the tutorial. Guess what? We already got ourselves our very own fallout garden. We've got a bunch of mushrooms growing on one of the walls. They're big enough to be eaten. How about that? Should we prepare a mushroom feast today? Chat, I'm going to ask you again what to do, but don't just resort to the do it pussy. Should we eat the strange mushrooms in our fallout garden? Eat her, say no, get high, do it, consume, yeah, nah. Um, maybe. No, thank you for sitting on the fence. Do it, classy gentleman. Alright, fine. In the future, I want you to know I won't be trusting any of you and will be using the coin to make all my decisions. Especially if I get a gun. Oh no, wife is ill. Although it appears to have given her abs, so maybe not all bad. We learned something today. Tomato soup is our best friend and mushrooms aren't. Are there any drugs that we could give Mary Jane? Dolores came down with a sickness. Also, presumably Sun is never coming back at this point. She's fine. She's sick and sick. Try and recover. It's not chicken soup, so it doesn't have magical properties, unfortunately. What are you, Two-Face? Well, here's open. What in the hell are those sounds? Are they coming from the goddamn walls? They're driving us crazy. Is something crawling in our air vents? We should probably calm down before we start tearing them down. Maybe try something... F okay, use the chessboard. Uh, checkerboard, rather. Oh! Oh, I got an achievement for 10 days surviving. I think that was the sound of our son coming back. He looks exceptionally malnourished and somehow got a haircut. Oh, and he found a flashlight and a first aid kit. Timmy came back from the wasteland. He's safe with us now. He went to the zoo. Of course he did. Found a med kit, found a flashlight. Wait, hang on, what did that say? Maybe we could just drive away from this nightmare somehow? Oh, so we have to find uh, a car to repair. Again, very like Safe House Diaries. If we don't cure Mary Jane soon, who knows what will happen? Well, she gets the... daughter gets the first aid kit, then. Tim should eat something. Tim is really tired. What? What is this part of the person? Is that buttocks? Heal, mother, you could always make another daughter. She could recover on her own, though, whereas the thing was saying, like, she's gonna die. No one tell me what. Hello, Vice President. I'm going to give it to the door. And don't take that out of context. She's thirsty. You're hungry and thirsty. Everybody gets water. You get food. You get food. Thank you, Norf21, for nine months with Twitch Prime. Hello to you, too. We need a second Twitch baby name. In our, no, sorry, a first Twitch baby name. And our first baby name will be... Hmm, let's go with... Delorme. A combination of mother and son. The state of the wasteland remains unknown to us. Maybe we should risk going out. After all, you only live once. Sure, I'll send father out tomorrow. A group of people dressed in green pyjamas knocking on our hatch is not something that we anticipated. Yet yeah, this is exactly what happened. Furthermore, they insisted they are merry men and wish to take from the rich and give to the poor. We're pretty poor, so maybe they could make some new friends. Should we let them in? I think we have a lot of junk, and if this is some kind of Robin Hood equivalent, I think they're going to try and steal from me, so I'm going to say no to this one and ignore chat. Uh oh, I got all thumbs. Oh, she recovered. That uh, wife, not so much. We didn't answer those peculiar calls and kept the door locked. They sounded harmless enough, but can harmless people be trusted in these troubled times? Flores' health has not improved. It isn't saying she's on death's door, though. Timmy is very hungry and hasn't rested. I gave him food, didn't I? Oh, he's he's just really hungry, I guess. That's not good. Well... Go out, take the gas mask, I guess, and just the gas mask. Mm. The axe would have protected him, I guess, but 
who knows how much radiation's out there. Good luck, father unit. The kids are going to be in a spot of bother if the mother passes away, it just occurred to me. Maybe we should have sent out the... Like, the, the daughter. Mary Jane says she's fine, doesn't need anything. Give her a little bit of soup. And a little bit of soup. And some water. Father's going to go buy cigarettes? Oh no. Hunter has redeemed the Tigrex theme. This is terrible, we can't sleep, we've been having problems with sleeping ever since we got down here. Oh, we needed a first aid kit, so nope. That can't be good. Someone sneezed. Was that this? That sounded like a rabbit sneezing. Everybody's still here. Let me pick the music. Okay, I had a weird one ready. I had the monster seeking monster rap. Bravely ignoring our symptoms, we tried to get at least an hour or two of sleep. No luck, so everyone's gonna be tired. Everybody's thirsty? No, he's so tired. Get over your tiredness, boy. Damn it. Well, we still can't. We don't have a radio, so we can't hear. Alright, note to self. Make getting the radio a higher priority. Um, I don't believe I had a telephone. Are they hallucinating? Or whatever an audio version of a hallucination is? If there's one thing we need to do is use radar. Yeah, okay, I know, I know, but I can't. Did anyone else hear a phone, though? Bam, bam, bam. We had thought phone calls were a thing of the past after the atomic bomb obliterated everything in our little town. However, a phone booth in our street survived the bombing somehow. It seems to be ringing right now. Should we send someone to answer it? Should we send someone to answer it? Send the mother. I believe there's a lose condition if you don't have an adult left alive. Although I guess the father is still alive, but if he doesn't come back, I think we lose automatically. Send the daughter, send the mother. Wow, sexist. Timmy's tired, which will probably increase his chances of, like, messing up. I think the mother is tired as well, though, isn't she? Alright, you know what? First coin flip. Casey Jones is the daughter, Turtles is the mother. Oh, dear. It landed on the Turtles. Sorry, wife. Get out and answer the phone. Oh, she's still almost a zombie, but she came back alive. What, the, what is going on over here? When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from the nearby town of Hill Valley. We exchanged information. It was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope to get them back. She's still quite ill. Yeah, okay. Tired, thirsty, hungry. Oh, no, no. Just, just him. I keep on doing it the opposite way around. Timmy didn't say a word about it, but when he was outside, he scratched his hand on a wire or some other rusty piece of metal. His wound is not looking pretty right now. We need to do something about it. Oh my god, are we going to chop his hand off? Boy. Come here. It's... Look at the pretty flowers. Look at it this way. We'll get you a chainsaw when you're older. Oh, he still has two hands. Timmy was very brave about the idea of cleaning up his wound with a heated act. Oh, they cauterized it. It's a bit painful, but it was soon over. The axe is in no shape to be used again, but Timmy seems much better. We lost our axe. They didn't chop it off at all. They haven't done anything about it. Okay, then there has to be some water left. Laura should get it. Oh, wait, it's water you need to give them if they're ill? I thought it was food. I know Timmy needs a few days of rest. I, I haven't told him to do anything. Like, I don't know how to tell him to rest. Presumably telling him to do nothing is the same. 
Thank you, Phelan. I'm glad you liked the new emote. It was more fan art from Lan. So if Lan shows up later, everybody has to thank him for being nice. We're about to go to sleep when we heard scratching coming from the door. At first, it sounded like an angry rat trying to eat the damn thing. We soon discovered it was something much worse. Someone is on the other side of the door trying to pry it open. We need to act. Padlock it. It's a shame we didn't have a gun. Wait, what if it was father? Oh, I just got an achievement called Pacifist. Oh, it was father. We didn't think a small padlock would stop them, but it turned out to be enough to discourage the unknown attackers. It seems... Okay. Ted returned with the gas mask. He only got one water? Oh, that wasn't good at all. So sick. Um, if Timmy goes out right now, he might die. Dolores might be fit enough. I think it might be like time to take Dolores out back, so that the children don't see. Yeah, we'll prepare to send someone out tomorrow. Life in the shower can really put a strain on personal relationships. Privacy is a forgotten, impossible concept. Okay, Dolores and Ted could really use a quiet moment to talk in peace. How about a picnic in the nearby park? So send the kids to the park so that the, like, the father and mother can have sex, basically. Sorry, I mean snuggle. Sure, what's the worst that could happen to your unsupervised children? Hmm. It's looking more and more like Graham Linhan by the second. Nothing like a romantic outing to a ruined post of. Oh, wait, did they go to the park? Oh, the parents went to the park. Let me see. Getting iffy. Goodbye, wife. I'll always remember you. She's not coming back, kids. Okay, so she's out. Still tired. Little food. The other days we spent down here were not exactly clean. We smell bad, real bad. I'm afraid you're just all going to have to stink. Sorry. How exactly do you use bullets to cure being smelly? Maybe I don't want to know the answer to that. Hey, I got an achievement for surviving 20 days. Oh, no. They all look... Um, not great. Father's nose has become a penis. So that's something. The road descended. Who cares about showering? Everybody's ill. I think I know how this is going to go. I guess we'll give everybody water. I'm going to go without food again. We still can't use the radio, so we're damned either way. Maybe we can make it to day 25. That's my goal. Day 25. Yeah, hungry, sick, tired, food. Timmy is very hungry. You know what, fine, everybody chow down. On way back from the last expedition, we noticed some drawings on a half-ruined wall nearby. It was a very crude map of our town, and one place was marked with an X. Maybe if someone's, uh, maybe it's someone's secret stash of soup. Shall we go check? Good luck, daughter. We're all counting on you. 
send boy boys week well whatever happened it doesn't look like she found any food so he found a harmonica don't cure Mary Jane soon who knows what will happen Mutant rodents are... Oh no, we're going to lose what little we have to rodents. Is that day 25? Oh, we're not going to make it. We lost the last can of soup we had. Oh wait, no, we have half a can. I mean... I'm just gonna let this one roll over. Oh! We don't need any of this, sorry. A knock on the door? Is that wife trying to get back in, but she's a zombie now? Food's trade, hasn't recovered from illness. Tired and sick. Hungry and sick. Hungry and sick and fatigued. You get nothing. A young woman dressed in white knocked on our door today telling us the story of her missing twin brother who is most probably being held at a cap uh, bandit camp. She claims to know that we're good and trustworthy people and believes that we can help rescue her sibling. If we do, she says it might be the beginning of a solid friendship. No. We're going to ignore her cry for help. Day 25! What happened to the boy's hair? It's growing on... Oh my god, she lived. And she found food! Okay, so she got two. She, she got a radio, but the gas mask broke. Tired, sick, hungry, thirsty. Tired, sick, hungry, tired. Everybody gets food. And I think if I give everybody this, we've got tiny... All right, well... Now the new goal is 30 days. We're not sending anyone out on an expedition. A sleazy looking trader carrying an equally scruffy bag on his shoulder paid us a visit. He offered us a simple one-time deal. For just one can of soup, we can get the bag and all of its contents. We can't see what's inside and he gives us angry glances every time we step towards it. Should we make the deal? We would only have a slither of soup left, but I think it's, it's the end regardless. F no. It could be a boat. That's that sold me. Um, I got an out of the bag achievement, and it's a cat in a sack. It's a smug pussy, and also a cat. Its collar says Sharakov. That sounds Russian. I'm actually amazed no one has died yet. Sick, sick, hungry, tired, hungry, sick. Dolores, you get the last of her food because you did well. You get to watch your child die. Um, sure, we'll send someone out. Our last expedition brought news of a vehicle parked down the street. It sure looks unique, but we never got close enough to get a look. We're almost certain it's not a bandit trap. Perhaps we should send someone to check it out. Boy, go check it out. We named the cat ration number one. Yeah, it got closer. Coughing, I know. Sickly, of course. Hungry, tired, fatigued. Hungry, sick. All we have to our name is a dribble of water. Some of us are keener to go outside than others. Either way, it's time to choose. All right, yeah, this is the expedition. Uh, where was the recap where it said who was feeling okay about it? We're not getting that this time. Sure, we'll send Boy and he can take a... He can take a... A harmonica with him.
That will defend him from all the nastiness. Ted doesn't drink anything, he won't last long. You you get the last of our supplies, Ted. This is the beginning of the end. Oh, we can use the radio finally. A bit little, or too little too late. Morse code. Yeah, we're, we're starving. This is it. Oh, there we go. We have nothing left. We have nothing left, so it doesn't matter if the door-to-door -door salesman has come to our door. The cat's going to be the sole survivor of this, right? I'm actually amazed none of them died there. We don't trust door-to-door -door salesman. We have nothing left. Uh, Sharkov sure can take care of itself, but we can't help but wonder how much of a self-made cat it is. Just so happens to be found in a dress on its collar. It's unlikely that its owner is still alive, and a trip to the wasteland is always risky. Should we go outside? Yes, might as well. Why not? There's nothing left. Oh, oh. I think that might have been father kicking. Oh! Wife has become a skeleton! <laughs> Why was it a man coughing if it was her dying? Before we sent to the streets, we were stopped by two men wearing dark coats and stylish hats. They rushed up to the cat to pick him up, saying they'd been looking for him. Supposedly, Sharkov belongs to an old lady who's rather fond of it and misses him dearly. The cat didn't seem to care, so why should we? Good thing we didn't get too attached to it. Okay. So... Oh. When Mary Jane found out she was not getting a single drop of water, she was furious. She stormed out of the wasteland, shouting over her shoulder that we'll regret this. And that she's getting her water one way or another. We are seriously terrified right now. So she left, and then mother died. I wish I had anything to give you there, Ted, but I'm afraid I don't. Ever since we jumped into the fallout shelter, we've been wondering about that other door in the shelter. Uh, please, please have food. Flashlight for food. Oh, we're just going to leave that skeleton there, huh? Every corner of the room and found nothing. Damn it. Nothing to give you, Ted. We can see the hunger and desperation in her eyes. We know a teacher at a local school who rescued a bunch of kids when the bomb fell. We also know what kind of supplies are in the school shower. As part of the community, we helped stock it. So technically, they're ours, right? Should we reclaim them in our hour of need? Hmm. I don't think even if we do this, it matters, because we still need a new day to make him eat, but and steal the food from those kids immediately. The dark side achievement unlocked. Oh, we got food and a bloody handprint. Timmy should have returned by now. We need to face the worst possible scenario. He might not be coming back. Unfortunately, I think the dehydration, yeah, dehydration is going to kill him regardless. No. Today during breakfast, we were startled when our map slid off the wall. We checked the nails holding it, but they were firmly in place. It could be a poltergeist. The map we discovered some sort of safe. Sure, open the safe. If you live, that is, which I don't think you will. One way ticket, the end. <laughs> also, the cat came back? I'm not sure how or why. Oh, I had a harmonica in it. To our surprise, we found Sharikov back in our shelter this morning. But we're also all dead. No, we lasted quite a while, honestly. All right, the highest priority has to be the radio. Six yes decisions. Cat lived, we win. All right, well, we'll do another one. Who put that there? Oh, is that the car we were looking at? It's an ice cream car? That's interesting. Okay. Find the radio. Yeah, that. We need that. 
I think the shelter starts with a couple of random things too. So there's a, a suitcase, there's some food in here. Where's the radio? There it is. Incidentally, if it looks like I'm struggling to move around in this section, it's deliberately janky. Food and water now. Oh, there's a padlock on the front door. I saw that. Oh, a gun. Oh, get in. Ah, screw the lock. Wait, maybe there's time. Got it. Hello, look. Made progress towards three achievements, sir. Go oh, and be prepared, achievement. We're having the briefcase and a lock, I think. Oh, we started with bug spray. There's actually a lot of stuff in the shower that time. Yep, yeah, okay. We found playing cards. And we don't need to eat on the first day. Really miss the life we had, the space, the sky, the food. More food. I wish we could go back to a time before this damn bomb dropped. Is the joke there failing that that's also the only time you've seen me do that? It's always better when things are calm, everything seems to be okay. Everyone is fine. What is this? Oh! Yeah, so it did appear there. Alright, we will be doing a trip because we've got a gas mask. There, Jane's been dropping hints that it's a special day for her today. We had to think about it hard, and then after eliminating your average festivities... Okay, it's her birthday. We can get her the gift of bug spray. I mean, that's just cruel. We'll give her playing cards for her birthday. Why not? Yeah, you see those cards that were already on the table? Happy birthday. Mary Jane loves cards. Okay, fine. She started doing card readings. You can't do divinations with normal cards, can you? Nice, right, so everybody's starting to get a bit thirsty. That's not dehydrated. Um, let's send Father out. He's going to take... Yeah, those two is good enough. You can, kind of. She's a witch, burn her. Okay, he left with the surface. They all need water, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's Superman. Adorable. She weighs as much as a duck. No longer thirsty. They're not hungry yet. Um, confined space is not a friendly environment, and we got quickly into an argument over some trivial things. If this keeps on, we might find ourselves in a nasty place. Still very irradiated out there, then. Now they're getting hungry. Wait, Timmy got hungry first? Huh, weird. He can wait a day as well. Playing with matches is never a good idea. Doing so in a tiny underground shower is probably even lower on the good idea scale. A few matches later and we ended up in flames. Okay, yeah. 
well, the only thing we had out of this list is the radio, so by yeah, all means save the radio. He's got a high metabolism? Why? We put out the fire, nothing was damaged. Okay. Okay, they all eat today. The entire shelter is crawling with little insects or worse. It's worse, they're spiders. Bug spray. Bug spray them immediately. Oh, Ted's back. He found stuff? Yeah, he did. Plus one water, minus one bug spray for the event. He didn't break either the briefcase or the gas mask. He spots an untouched store. Yeah, he saw a spaceship. Oh, okay, crafty little alien buggers. Hmm, all right, plus two food, plus two water, that's good. Spotted a vehicle. Timmy needs food and water. Dehydration, dehydration. Hungry and tired. We will prepare another expedition because we still have the briefcase and the um, the gas mask. The telephone's ringing again, but it's a different text. Should we go answer this one? It must be a different event because it's not the same flavor text. So that means it might be a different result. And do it. What are what buttons? Send girl, send boy, wipe away the debt. I'll take that as a send girl. Oh, it's still radiated out there. I forgot about that. And to the phone, we can clearly hear... Oh, it is the same event. Yeah, it is Hill Valley. Hmm. Okay. They're all fine. Let's send out the wife. And... I think she's good as is. Yeah. The game is learning from last death. What is Timmy looking at? His stomach is rumbling, he's tired. Mary Jane needs nothing. Oh, sorry, Ted was the first one. Can have a little bit of soup. Oh, and we can do the radio really early this time, so that bodes well. Contacted the government. They said they will be in touch in a couple of days and told us to await further instructions. Thirsty, hungry, hungry, thirsty. Until it says dehydration, I think we're going to wait. Uh, okay, listen to the radio. Please don't break it. We need it to talk to the military. Also, how do we talk to the military via the radio? It's a one-way thing. Well, and it's still there. You could probably listen to some music. They still play music out there, don't they? Okay, now they're dehydrated. You're dehydrated. Dehydrated. Traitor alert? Timmy's scavenged comic books are mostly harmless, however, and some of them don't feature the brave Astro Citizen program astronauts, but cosmonauts? 
That boy is eating up Soviet propaganda. What a disgrace. Should we banish Timmy to the wasteland for his treacherous ways or dispose of his blasphemous comics? Um... Timmy, Timmy has been reading communist propaganda. Chat, what say you for his fate? What does Yes do? Banish him. He can be saved. Exile, abstain. Save the Timmy. He can be saved. Destroy. Alright, we'll destroy the propaganda. Sorry, Timmy. It's good firewood if nothing else. He better be appreciative that he was this close to being banished. We allowed Timmy to stay in the shelter despite his actions. We believe in the power of rehabilitation and second chances. Also, running out of toilet paper and these propaganda books will do nicely. Dehydration. Got a drink. You're fine. Timmy is hungry, but he's also a communist, so he's going to wait. Ah, damn it. This is going to make them all ill again and we have nothing to do with it because the wife took the gas mask. God damn it. That's a really nasty event. The world, yeah, okay, I get it. You're all ill. Well, we don't have any first aid kits, so we'll give them all water in the hopes of that helping them recover. Timmy claimed he couldn't sleep, uh, and again, we have nothing they can use because the briefcase is already on an adventure as well. Well, wife has not returned. We don't cure Mary Jane soon, who knows what will happen. Starvation, okay, yeah, you've definitely got to eat. Considering the alternatives to the Kensub diet, a sudden knock at the door broke our line of thought. It turned out they were visited by a band of survivors who were in pretty bad shape. Uh, we can spare... We'll spare water and see what they do. Why would you return? I wouldn't return. You'd leave your family? Well, Dolores came back and she's disappointed because she found a first aid kit that's going to have to immediately be used on someone. So we got our... Did the briefcase break? She got two war. The briefcase broke. But at least she got the first aid kit. A vehicle down the street looks like a work in progress. This could potentially be our ticket out of here. Hungry and tired. Oh. Timmy just is in constant need of stuff. I'm going to heal Ted because he can go out on a mission. Also, he's a communist. And he is going to go out tomorrow. Breathing the damn shelter for the last couple of hours, the situation has been getting noticeably worse. There's something wrong with the ventilation system. Shine the flashlight in and work it out. Dead hobo? Dead hobo? Um, was her hand always like that? The obvious thing to do when the vent is blocked is check what's blocking it. However, when you shine your flashlight in, there's a hive of mutated insects. The anger hive is gone, but insects did some biting before the- oh, she got bitten. She's gonna turn. He's going out on an adventure, so he gets both. The communist gets a little bit of food. Good luck, Ted. We're all counting on you. You've just gotta take the gas mask, my man. Is he going to mutate? One of us? One of us? I don't know. If we don't cure Mary Jane soon, who knows what will happen? Oh. Oh yeah, sick and hurt. Let it ride. 
And what we found on our door today was a real surprise to us all. It's not a sign, but it says whoever wrote it has been observing us for a while and believes we're the right kind of people. They instruct us to send a single unarmed representative to a meeting today at midnight to find out more. Who should we send? See you later, daughter. Good luck. Oh, she lived. That's surprising. There really are others just like this. We arrived at the rendezvous unarmed. They were being led by twins, a brother and sister, who seemed friendly enough. Aren't there any drugs we could give Mary Jane? No. You can get a little soup. Sick, hurt, hungry. I think giving you soup is just going to be a waste of resources, honestly. The communists can get a little. Let's listen to the radio again. Oh, did Mary Jane bite the dust? No? I heard coughing. Able to get a weak signal. Guess what? Great news. The fallout of the site is mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. Can we spare some water? Brother, may you spare some water. When Dolores came back in from that expedition the other day, she had a tiny scratch on her leg. It didn't seem serious. All oh, right, it's a Timmy event. Clotterize it immediately. Oh. Morse code. Lost the fire axe from cauterizing it. What about the radio, though? I think the kids are just going to go without again. Another transmission from the army, they'll be doing a quick swoop of there and ask the survivors to leave markings at the nearest bus stop to indicate they're around. Okay. Use our playing cards to do just that. The star tab is like the broken ice cream van. Ted came back with ammo and water, I think. All we need to do is wait for the army to pinpoint our location. Oh, that's, that's like our instructions, and this is like a persistent mission between runs, it seems like. Hungry and tired. You can have a little soup, Ted. Agony! Oh, she's she's getting nothing. She's long for this world. And not long for this world, rather. It's going to be a husband and wife. We're not going on an expedition. During our last expedition, we finally approached that nearby vehicle. It was an ice cream truck. Missing wheels and a few other crucial crucial components. The outside was rusty, a little burnt up. If we drive away from here, we should scavenge for something to reinforce it. Anything we should grab for this little supply run. The gas mask. Although the radiation was mostly gone, I maybe should have done the flashlight. Oh well. I'm amazed she's still alive. The gas mask got buggered. Then some sheep metal with expired milk and rotten eggs. The sheets were installed as armor. Does it look different now? Oh, hey, look, it does. Hungry, tired, thirsty. Hungry, gonna die. You know, she can have a little soup because that might keep her going. The communist has to get both, unfortunately. No travels today. Dolores is really craving a cup of coffee, real true blue American coffee, the kind that you can drink five cups and still feel sleepy. Where are we going to find that in this wasteland? Well, Dolores' favourite diner used to be a few blocks away. Maybe someone should go on a coffee run? Good luck, daughter. See you later. She lived? A whole pot of cold coffee. The taste is weird. We don't have any sugar or milk. Slightly irradiated. All of us are very alert and ready for anything for the next five minutes or so. Oh dear. Hungry, hungry, agony. Uh, let it ride, I guess. During charades, we learned that Mary Jane doesn't know how to spell anti disestablishmentarianism and has left Dolores sorely disappointed. She insists on a home or rather shelter schooling Mary Jane a little. She's gonna die, but sure. 
She'll be trying to teach her her times tables and she'll just keel over. Oh. I kind of have a notice there's, there's someone gone. I started out as a spelling exercise, quickly found its way into a math revision. Oh, we actually got a first aid kit out of it. If she did well... Oh, we're making her angry? She left, she left for Canada because of the bare public health care system. That's fair. So now she's, she we can play as her in Death Road to Canada. You eat. You, at the cost of your sibling, is now able to be healed. So enjoy. No trips. Our patience is wearing thin. We thought it would be a good idea to have a quick look outside. A pair of animal eyes flashed in the darkness and their owner started growling in the most terrifying way. I don't want to waste a gun on something that isn't a human. Let's do flashlight. Whop it over the head or scare it with the light. Oh, I heard a bark. And yeah, I see no doggo in the shelter. Chet was coming in. Oh, it was a dog. The poor thing seemed tired. Alright, fair enough. So that is dehydration. Dehydration. You just sit. Our great Uncle Terry, he was a brown. Oh, this is a Terry Pratchett reference. It'd be so reassuring to hear one of his stories again, and yet we don't even have. Oh, sadly, can't help you there. Sorry. Brr. Oh, heard the radio again. Yeah, you're left with thoughts. Starvation, you gotta eat. Dehydration and starvation? That communist desires a lot of things. His metabolism is horrific. We found some weird. No, no weird mushrooms this time. We're not that desperate. I wait for the instructions still. Yeah, okay. Oh, there was a knock at the door. Should I just answer? The siblings are back. Their group is growing bigger with each passing day as they pick up tired and hungry survivors and nurse them back to health. They only have one tent and Cindy will run all... Okay, right now they're scouting the town. Sure, they can have my map. This is an alternative way to get out, I think, other than the military. Quickly handed them a map, pointing out several locations. Maybe we could visit them when the camp is ready. I don't think we're going to survive that long, unfortunately, but... Starvation. We're in the danger zone supplies-wise. Tough surviving in these conditions, let's hope it'll be over soon. Oh dear. Send out the boy. But the military will be here soon, they promised. God damn it. Oops. Slizzy looking trader carrying... Yeah, we can't do it this time. That's just that's to get the cat anyway, so... Alright, you know what? Fine, we'll prep an expedition and send the boy to his death. Oh yeah, that's true, the military would just kill him for being a communist, you're right. Damn. Yeah. They can last a little bit. Timmy's going out, and he will take... A gun? Let's give Timmy a gun. We've still got a padlock so we can defend the shelter that way if need be. Timmy went into the wasteland. We don't know if he'll come back. Soldier sent out another radio message requesting all people remain patient. 
Uh, okay. So if we still had a gas mask, we could have had like an expedited... No, oh, no well. That's a shame. I heard a, a dorg again. Also, I said dorg there. Uh, our rescue will be a bit overdue, yeah. Crap. Well, unfortunately, we can't give the doggo some food because we literally have none to give him. Sorry, doggo. Don't worry, you can eat our corpses. Ration supplies, fatigued, hungry, starvation. We don't have a fire axe. A knock at the door. Is this a new record for days? No axe, no shave. Bunch of people dressed in what they call Halloween doctor outfits. That doesn't sound good. Their supplies got eaten by something that looked like a Sasquatch. Well, oh, sorry. Can't help you there, buddies. We have nothing. We need that Robin Hood event. Another knock at the door. They weren't real doctors. What's that sound? A galloping horse? We rushed to the door to be greeted by two... Oh, right. We've, we've done this again. Sure, we can show them the map. If anything happened to our map at this point, I don't think it's going to matter. I don't think Timmy's coming back. They give us the scout guide. Oh, Timmy can sneak like a secret agent man, but that might not be enough to avoid the band of raiders camped near our shelter. We can probably assume he isn't coming back. He got himself sniped. Well, we're about to run out of supplies. It's a band full of people dressed in green showing up at your door. Oh, let them in. Yes, we're poor. We're very, very poor. Save us, please. Also, our children are dead. I think they stole our map. They stole our... They told us that we're rich. What? They stole our map and our scout book. Better dead than red. The siblings are back with the group to announce their captains to be finished. They're attempting to make living there more enjoyable. Take them. We're dead either way. Is that electricity? Our friends agreed and promised to keep us updated on the situation. But it's not going to matter because we're basically screwed. You know what, let's prepare an expedition and send out Dolores if she's not dead tomorrow. Group of bandits, lock the door. Hey, 40 days standing achievement. Padlock was broken. If they come back, we're screwed. Starvation, starvation. See you later, wife. You know what? Sure, take the flashlight. Whatever. Good luck out there. You were gone for one minute. What the hell happened? Um... Nothing? Sure, you know what? Drink the last of the water. Maybe it'll let you forget that you're dying of hunger. I heard the radio. No spies left. Ah, if only we had a gas mask. I imagine he'll die when the next day rolls over. Someone's trying to break in and they're not alone. Ah, well, I think that might be the game over situation right there. This is the end, and it's a horrible looking man's face, so I believe we've been murdered. Oh, yep, I think we've been murdered. 
by Mad Max Rejects. We're at the mercy of the thugs and it's unlikely to have a happy ending. It's the end of the line for us. Hey, Dolores is still out there somewhere. She might have lived. Hmm. Well, we didn't help the army. We wanted to, we just didn't have the means. Technically, Dolores didn't perish. She's out there. She could live. Maybe she went to New Vegas and played through that. Well, that concludes just over an hour of 60 Seconds Reatomizer. There is also a sci-fi version that I bought as part of a two-pack called 60 Seconds... 60 Parsecs. We might end up trying that one as well. Uh, I've got quite a few achievements, as it turns out. Including dying to raiders. Oh yeah, and look, it saves progress, so eventually you will be able to escape via that. So there is some permanence between runs as well. Interesting.